hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to talk about vitamin c first let's uh, discuss the vitamin c what is it called and uh, why is it important so vitamin c is known as ascorbic acid uh, it's really very important for our uh, cells it keeps our cells healthy it's, it's good for our skin, blood vessels, bones, and cartilage. It helps in wound healing. And uh, if vitamin C is deficient, then we can suffer from a disease known as scurvy, in which uh, uh, blood, in which there is bleeding of gums, um, gums bleed and teeth fall out, and it can eventually lead to death as well. So vitamin, uh, vitamin C deficiency is uh, uh, it's, it's dangerous. There are different vitamins like A, B, C, D, E, and K. And out of these vitamins, only B and C are water soluble. Uh, the rest are fat soluble. Fat soluble vitamins aren't required in daily basis. And they're um, and in and if we consume them excessively, then it it can be dangerous for our body. But vitamin B and C, they're water soluble vitamins, and they're required on daily basis because they excrete out from the body. So if they're consumed in excessively, it it it, it isn't uh, dangerous for our body. So we have to take vitamin C in daily basis. Now, there are different sources of vitamin C like uh, citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons. Um, they are the rich sources of vitamin C. There are peppers, blackcurrants, strawberries, broccoli, Brussels sprouts and potatoes. These are all sources of vitamin C. You can see here cantaloupe, kiwis, there are tomatoes, yes, tomatoes. Are a very good source of vitamin C grapefruit guava guava has the largest uh, concentration or largest quantity of vitamin C in it and of course lemon and you know one should always like uh, always squeeze one lemon in their food so it's also a good source of vitamin C plus lemon is also very good for uh, for skin and also it, it, it actually keeps us healthy it keeps our cells healthy it protects us from dangerous diseases like cancer so one should always squeeze lemon instead of like a synthetic um, seasonings like vinegar uh, we should squeeze fresh lemons in our um, in our food so it, it's it's better to uh, take vitamin C like that Vitamin C and its essential purposes for our bodies. So vitamin C is very important for the growth and repair of tissues. And um, it is it forms an important protein used to make skin, tendons, ligaments and blood vessels. It helps in uh, healing of wounds. And it also repairs and maintains cartilage, bones and teeth. So vitamin C deficiency can ultimately cause um, our cartilage, bones, and teeth weak. So one should take vitamin C. Um, one should include vitamin C in their diet. One should eat fresh fruits and vegetables, which are a great source of vitamin C. And also it helps in the absorption of iron. So deficiency of vitamin C can actually weaken our bones our teeth our ligaments and cartilage and um, also you know um, cells can be prone to diseases and the body can be prone to diseases so one should include vitamin c in their diet so vitamin c one of the main function of vitamin c is that it is an antioxidant and antioxidants are really very important right because you know what happens when we uh, during um, food breakdown or when we are exposed when we are you know like people smoke or they're exposed to radiation so what happens in our body free radicals are produced right 
and these free radicals are responsible for causing diseases and like um, cancer heart diseases and arthritis so what does this uh, vitamin c do it acts as antioxidants it actually blocks the damages which is caused by free radicals so if something is antioxidant and it's a natural oxidant and uh, vitamin c so it means it is protecting us from free radicals which can result in diseases like cancer so one should actually include vitamin c in their diet in order to um, in, in order to prevent themselves from diseases like cancer and heart diseases so vitamin c is very very important okay now we're gonna um we're gonna see how to how how can you measure that which fruits or food sample contains the highest concentration of vitamin c or is there any vitamin c in any food sample so there is a laboratory method which uh, we, which we can perform in order to measure the amount of vitamin c so we're going to use the procedure of titration for that in order to find the concentration of un unknown solution that is if we want to find out the concentration of vitamin c in any food sample so for this purpose we're going to perform the titration process so let's just see how we can perform titration method so first we're going to take a flask right and we're going to add some um, juice which contains vitamin c orange juice we will take orange juice orange juice is a rich source of vitamin c and as an indicator we will add starch solution right and i'm going to tell you that why we're going to add starch solution as an indicator right now what we will do we will take a burette and we will fill the burette with iodine solution now you know and you must have done food tests and if you haven't done that, let me tell you that iodine uh, is a brown color solution and when it reacts with uh, starch its color changes from brown to blue black so if you want to find out in any food sample whether starch is present or not so what we do we put drops of iodine on any food sample and uh, if it turns blue black then it means starch is present so we are using iodine solution the burette right and drop wise we gonna we can actually pour iodine solution in this flask when we orange juice and um, star solution are there right so add iodine solution drop by drop into the flask containing sugar and star solution when the solution changes color stop adding iodine you know when this solution completely turns blue black then we're going to stop adding iodine right determine the volume of iodine used for the titration now we're going to see that how much iodine has been used to convert the starch in the blue black color so now you see here now this solution has turned blue black all the starch has turned blue black right and this much iodine has been used right so this much iodine is left and this much has been used no vitamin c left so what does it mean okay let's see now here you see two flasks one is orange and the other is blue black right so if there is no change in the color if color do not changes so it means vitamin c is present and if the color changes into blue black so it means all the vitamin c has reacted so here vitamin c is there here no vitamin c all the vitamin c has reacted right the more iodine solution needed for titration the more vitamin c is contained in the food now if we take the juices from all these fruits right and we put uh, in these juices starch solution and add iodine if it changes its color into blue black then it means that the vitamin c is present now if more iodine solution has been added so it means it will have more vitamin c so we can determine highest concentration of vitamin c in these food samples by looking at iodine solution if excessive iodine solution has been used to uh, turn the starch blue black then it means that it has excessive quantity of uh, vitamin c in it right so that's how we're gonna find out that's how we find out that um, the largest concentration of vitamin c is present in any food sample we can use this to estimate how much vitamin c we are getting in our diet and if we are meeting the nutritional recommendations so this is one of the method in which we determine the concentration of vitamin c the highest concentration of vitamin c in any food sample it is by using the method of titration in which we use uh, any vitamin c solution from any like fruit 
we're going to see we want to find out that which fruit contains highest vitamin c so we'll take different uh, juices from different um fruits right we're going to add indicator starch will be used as an indicator and we will drop iodine so if more iodine is dropped in the um or is used in the solution uh, is used in the orange juice and starch solution then it means it has uh, more vitamin c in it so that's it. I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned a lot. Um, don't forget to like, uh, share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.